a bird stuck in a net is normally a cause for alarm, but today it's a small celebration for science. Looks like we've got a female ye yellow rumped warbler here. What we do is we very carefully grab the bird. This songbird is one of dozens of species that fly through Iona Regional Park in Richmond at this time of year. They're passing through on the Pacific Flyway, making their way north. So there's our female myrtle warbler. It may look harrowing, but rest assured, no birds were harmed in the making of this news story. The idea is that the uh, slight inconvenience that we put this these individuals through is worth the, the um, broader information that we can glean about the population. Every year at this time, a group of staff and volunteers gather at Iona to capture and release migratory songbirds. The birds are measured, weighed and examined with all of those details plugged into a database. They're then fitted with a nifty little ankle bracelet that lets other researchers track them over time. And they represent um, sort of the, the status, the health of an ecosystem. If the birds are doing well, um, there's a pretty good chance that you know, your ecosystem's functioning. Wild Research has been gathering birds like this one for more than 12 years here at Iona Regional Park, but there are changes afoot, changes that could affect how the group does its research. Iona Regional Park is also home to Metro Vancouver's second largest wastewater treatment plant, an aging facility that has reached the end of its lifespan. The region has $10 billion in changes planned for the facility and the park. We're I think just dealing with a little bit of uncertainty right now about how this very large long-term project's going to be impacting not only our operation, but just, you know, the wild bird stopover site in general. But Metro Vancouver says the changes are no cause for alarm and are likely to help not hinder migratory birds. Really, we're looking at the broader ecological connectivity of the island and trying to restore natural processes and trying to create bird habitat that is really sustainable over the long term, uh, that's functioning in its, in its natural state and is, is supporting even greater bird communities. So um, that research is important. Metro Vancouver says the changes will create new bird habitat for years to come, habitat that will help birds like this one make their way home. Marie Seidler, CBC News, Vancouver.